Local teams could make up half the qualifiers coming out of sectional bowls, boys bowling in Minster today in Division I. Wapak, one of those teams, and the Redskins looking to make a run. Wapak aiming for their first trip to state since 2014. Good crowd on hand at Community Lanes in Minster. As we get right to the action, Shawnee Jr. Matthew Owen picking up the strike here. He will be sixth overall. Shawnee qualifying for districts with a fourth place finish. For Elida, just outside the advancing teams at fifth place, but sophomore Ryan Scheidler getting all 10 pins down. He bowls a 125 in this game. Now Lima senior freshman, yeah, here Brito Diaz. He picks up the spare. He finishes 31st overall with a 448. Salina moving on to districts with a third place finish. Senior Timothy Nowitzki with a strike. He finished 14th overall with a 533. Wapak's Tyler Ferris, he picks up the two pin spare here. The junior with a 17th place finish. The Redskins finishing second, so they will advance the district as well. St. Mary's advancing, they finish first overall because Jack Booz knocks down spares like this. The senior plays third overall with a 609, one of five bowlers with a 600 series. Van Wurst, Tristan Blackmore with a thunderous strike here. Only freshman to place in the top 15 with a 533. Ken Schlosser hitting the spare here for Defiance at 33rd place finish for him with a 4.23. So, Shawnee, Salina, Wapak, and St. Mary's all advancing individual qualifiers. Ethan Ramsdale and Xavier Boop of Elida. They will move on to districts, as will Nevin Pierce of Van Wert. Moving on to girls district action. Up at Rossford in interstate lanes, and St. Mary's starts first. Allison Speckman, she gets the first strike of the day for the Rough Riders. Fired up and ready to go, and more action from the Rough Riders as Kayla Homan. She would get it going. She gets another strike for the Riders. 268 in her first game. So off to a terrific start are the Rough Riders. Now up for Napoleon, Ariana Kiesling. She gets it uh, curve inside for the strike, and she would later qualify individually for state. Then for New Bremen, Lexa Steinke. She gets the strike to fall for the Cardinals. Getting it going there. And then Jasmine Schultz for Coldwater. She would get going. She gets a strike and a top eight finish. St. Mary's and New Bremen heading to state from this one as well. Perkins outside the area. Individuals advancing. Cassie Kuiper from Eastwood. Kylie Craiger from Galleon. And Ariana Keesley from Napoleon also advancing. Congrats to all of the ladies this season.